I'm Paul from Mode 7, let me tell you a bit about Frozen Endzone. It's a simultaneous turn-based tactical game set around a brutal future sport played by robots. The aim of the game is pretty simple, get the ball into a scoring zone by passing or running, avoiding getting crushed by your opponent's defence along the way. Players can block each other, and a static player controls an area of the pitch. The game is very much about reading both the randomly generated terrain and your opponent. Frozen Endzone is in beta at the moment, the core game mechanics and a lot of the graphical stuff are working well, so the current build is fun and rewarding. Eventually it'll be everything you want from a future sports game. Single player season modes, competitive leagues with your friends, the ability to vary rules, pitch sizes and shapes and even more. In the beta right now we've got a selection of single player challenges, both handcrafted and randomly generated, with hard and easy AI options. We also have four multiplayer modes, and all the usual community features you'd expect from fast matchmaking through to ranking and friends lists. There's already two sets of armour for your players in variable colours, but we'll be adding a lot more, including potentially a facial animation editor, custom logos and the ability to name characters. Some multiplayer and single player modes will allow stat customization and progression, so you can tweak your team to your heart's content. We need a successful beta to allow Frozen Endzone to live up to its full potential, so if you do feel like pre-ordering, everyone at Mode 7 would massively appreciate it. You'll instantly get two copies of the beta, one for you and one for a friend, with the full version on release and optional Steam keys. We've put together some great pre-order bundles which include things like the soundtrack and a brand new exclusive EP by Nervous Test Pilot, that's me. Special pre-order items including armour and a stadium trophy can be yours, as well as the chance to get your name, face and custom celebration animation into the game. If you want to see some more gameplay details and watch a match casted by me, then stay right there. Quick recap, getting to the end zone is worth 7 points. Getting a mid zone is worth 3. These bonus zones will add 2 points to your score should you get into a mid zone or the end zone. These low blocks are impassable to robots. and said robots are unable to throw the ball over these high blocks. Right, we're in-game now. I'm the blue team here on offense, and my opponent Bin is the red team here on defense. My job is to get the ball, which starts off here, into the end zone or into one of these mid zones. So let's take a quick look at my first turn. What I did was just wait there to give myself a little bit of time to move around as the turn ends when I pick up the ball. Bin's gone for a fairly defensive posture here, trying to cover these lane-like structures that the random generator has thrown up, and he's also trying to rush me with a guy up here to stop me doing anything weird like coming around there or running with this ball carrier. So uh, let's take a look at my turn. So I opt for a short pass there, just bringing this guy into play and enabling me to kind of get a bit more control of this space. Vin is pushing up, being quite aggressive. He thinks he's going to stop a run to the outside here. He's probably going to be able to block a pass through down to this guy here. And similarly here, there aren't many options. What I've been able to do um, in that turn was get a guy into position to block off this area. You can see as this guy's static here, he wouldn't be able to come through here and gain access to this part of the field. And uh, that's going to be his downfall in the next play. I'm able to quickly sneak a pass to the outside through this channel here. He does pick up on that and send his defender around, so the only thing that remains to be seen is whether or not I can make it into the end zone. And there's the touchdown, and that's the win for me in this play. Now, in this game mode, what happens when someone scores, you immediately swap sides. So here's Bin on offense. He moves out to the left-hand side in his first turn, and his second turn is a cheeky little pass just to collect that bonus zone in the centre there. Something else he did in that turn was block one of my players rather irritatingly, so we can take another look at that. You can see he just gets in front of me there, and that's going to enable him to control that whole lane. He's going to take advantage of that with another sneaky pass right over the top, and directly into the end zone. That's going to be 9 points and a win for Bin. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to play right now, just head over to frozenendzone.com and pre-order the game. You'll get the beta immediately as well as a free key for a friend so you can jump right into multiplayer if you so desire. We're a small indie team, so pre-ordering really helps us out. It's going to fund the rest of development and help us make Frozen Endzone as great as we possibly can. Thanks.